Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third one. In our today's video, we will talk about how to convert an equation of hyperbola from the standard form to general form. By the way guys, this topic is a requested topic from our subscribers and followers on our Facebook page. And if you want to follow our Facebook page, simply search sa Facebook yung Math Teacher God. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Ngayon meron tayo itong dalawang equations, which is, which is yung ating um, standard form if the, if the hyperbola or if the center of the hyperbola is not located at the origin, meaning nasa HK. Ito, una natin equation if the hyperbola or the orientation of your hyperbola is horizontal. Ibig sabihin nun, the opening of the hyperbola ay papunta sa left and right part of the Cartesian plane. And syempre, yung inyong transverse axis dun ay horizontal. Ito yung kanyang equation. We have x minus h squared over a squared minus y minus k squared over b squared is equal to 1. Guys, review lang tayo ha. If yung x na natin ay yung merong squared at positive, ibig sabihin, the orientation of your hyperbola is horizontal. Tandaan nyo mabuti yan. And remember, na yung ating a squared is always at the denominator of the passive term, whether it is x or y. Now let's move on with the second equation. Yung second equation naman natin is that if your hyperbola, yung kanyang opening or orientation ay per vertical. Ibig sabihin, yung opening ay upwards and downwards. Dito naman, makikita nyo agad siya once the y variable is positive or the y term is positive. So, ito naman yung ating ano, general form. We have ax squared plus by squared plus c squared plus cx plus dy is equal to c is equal plus e is equal to 0. Ito na yung general form ng ating conic section starting from circle up to the hyperbola. So, we have here example number 1 or our example throughout this video in which we are given y plus 2 squared over 16 minus x plus 3 over 4 is equal to 1 in which ang target natin is to convert this standard form again eh, this one is already in standard form ang target natin is to convert this into the general form at kung mapansin nyo yun lang natin by inspection uh, the variable y here is the positive term meaning the orientation of our, our hyperbola is ito, a vertical. Okay? Now, sir, paano nga ba siya kinoconvert into general form? Basic lang, guys. As you can see, meron tayong denominator sa 16 over 4. Ang target natin is to remove the denominator 16 and 4. So, sir, what is the first step? The first step is to multiply the whole equation by 16 and 14. Huwag yun na siya ano, i-multiply muna, factored form muna siya. Multiply the whole equation, syempre ito rin, by 16 times 14. So by this immediate property, guys, when you multiply this, this will become 16 times 14 times y plus 2 squared over 16. Okay? We multiplied 16 times 14 by y plus 2 squared over 16. Next, we will multiply this. So become minus 16 times 14 times x plus 3 over 4. By the way guys, may time correction dito. This is not 14. So I need to remove 1 here, 1 here, and 1, 1. Ang ating pa multiplier ay 16 times 4 lang. Sorry guys. Now let's continue. And also, for this part, we need to multiply um, 1 by 16 and 14. Ito din, multiply din natin ito. And it will become 64. Okay? This is 64. Now, what's next, sir? Our next thing we need to do here is to cancel out 16 and 16. As you can see, we have 16 divided by 16. And also here, we can cancel out 
4 divided by 4. And meron na tayo dito ngayon, 4 times y plus 2 squared minus 16 times x plus 3 squared is equal to 64. And as you can see guys, wala na tayo ngayon denominators. At malapit na natin ma-achieve to. So what is the next step? Next step is to expand your binomial here. You have here y plus 2 squared and then x plus 3 squared. So paano ba na-expand yan? And you can use spoil method. So try natin na. 4 times shortcut na lang pa tayo guys. Shortcut na lang. First thing you need to do is to square y. That is y squared. Kasi matakarang tayo natin ng ano, ng perfect square trinomial. We're in, para makuha mo yung middle term or yung linear term, i-multiply mo lang si y and 2, and then times 2. So, y times 2 is 2y times 2, that is, plus 4y. And to get the third term, or the constant, simply square the second term, which is 2 squared, that will give you 4. Minus 16, and then when you expand this, same process, square the first term, okay, that is x squared, because x times x, or x squared, is x squared. And then to get the second term, multiply the first and second term, x times 3, that's 3x three, three times 2, always times 2, that is plus 6x. And then for the constant, guys, for the third term, square the last term, that is plus 9. And then equal to 64. So what do we need to do here? Is to distribute 4 and 16 to these terms. So we will multiply 4 times y squared, that will give you 4y squared. Multiply this, it will give you plus 16y. Multiply this, this will give you plus 16. Okay? By the distributive property. And this one, negative 16 times x squared, that is minus 16x squared. Negative 16 times 6. So, negative 16 times 6. This is 36. 6. Get a 3. 6 times 1 is 6 plus 3. That is 9. So, this is negative 96. So, minus 96x. Okay? Next, we have negative 16 times 9. So, we will multiply negative 16 by 9. Ang 9 times 6 natin is 54. So this is 4, carry 5. 9 times 1 is 9, plus 5, that is 14. So negative 144. So this is minus 144. And we have here equal to 64. So what we will do, since this one is equal to 0, kailangan natin ilipat sa 64 sa other side. But we need to rearrange this. Okay? Una, as you can see guys, the first term is the x term. Though negative to, okay lang yan. So what we will do is we will try to uh, put negative 16 on the first part of the equation. We have negative 16 x squared, okay, followed by the y, which is plus 4y squared, okay. And then, followed by the linear term, which is minus 96x. And then, the linear term of the y variable, which is plus 16y. Okay? And then, all the constants. We have plus 16, minus 144. And then, as you can see, 64 is positive. When we transpose this, it will become minus 64 is equal to 0. So, the way that we guys is to simplify this. We have negative 144 minus 64 plus 16. At ang dalawang to, when we combine them, this will give us 208, negative 208 plus 16. So, all we need to do is to subtract 
16 from I uh, told 16 from negative 23. Simplify. 18. So become 9. 18 my 18 minus 6 that is 12. Ah oh, sorry. Um dinan ko ilang borrow. Um 8 minus 6 is 2. And then dito ko borrow tayo. Magiging 10. Ito magiging 1. Um 10 minus 1 is 9. And then bring down 1. This is negative 192. So the final answer here is negative 16x squared plus 4y squared minus 96x plus 16y and then we have negative 192 is equal to 0. This is now the general form of the equation y plus 2 squared over 16 minus y plus 3 squared over 4 is equal to 1. I hope guys that you learned something from this video on how to convert the equation of hyperbola from standard form to general form. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Goy. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye!